dressed up I don't know for what reason I just wanted to come here and create a nice look uh, my throat is not well I've not uh, been well but I'm now I'm feeling really really uh, better at least that's the thought I want to manifest so that I get better so <laughs> my throat is a little you know itchy but it's okay and I get this seasonal uh, allergy around my lips lips look chapped so what I'm gonna apply is uh, there's this thing uh, moisturizer that my doormat recommended this is called uh, Handrich moisturizing lotion diminishes dry and itchy skin this really works and this is the only thing that works on the dry patch I realized sometimes when I can't find it somewhere in the house could be my locality but like you know nothing helps and I really have to look for this uh, particular thing anyway so yeah I'm just gonna apply this and apply some lip balm because my lips look so dehydrated once again if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe because I've been posting one look almost every day almost every day or at least like once uh, in two to three days I'm posting one makeup look uh, lately I've just been doing makeup looks but I'm going to get back to doing more stuff you know more interesting amazing stuff with my kid and my husband and you know uh, do more lifestyle things as well like visiting a museum going to a garden and stuff like that maybe cooking and fitness as well because I'm really into fitness lately but that's all coming for now we are creating a nice look today so first of all I'm going to uh, do a little bit of quick uh, moisturizing I did apply some moisturizer I did apply the moisturizer but I feel like Thoda aur kar sakte hain. So I'm going in with set of oil, quick massage of set of oil should be good. By the way, these earrings. So there's a backstory to it. I saw a reel on Instagram that Princess uh, Kate Middleton. She wore something like this. She wore something like this on the red carpet for an event. And guess what? These earrings are from Zara. You know. And uh, I just like them so much because they're dressy. They're not so dressy that you can't wear them. I want to wear them with a nice plain kurta maybe like a satiny um, organza finished uh, uh, kurta and uh, wear them with that a loose fitted kurta and pants and these earrings I think that will look really nice but that's just a thing in my head right now some concealing base for my eyes using a small palette to see what's going on because i can't always look into the camera and do it it with some loose powder so let's see where we get i'm going to use this very neutral basic color into the crease and just take it out blend nicely so this area is called the crease and uh, this area is called the lid space this where my brush is going is called the crease I'm going to intensify the color a bit and blend it I actually want to finish my base today and then come back to your eyes. For my under eye area, I'm using Too Faced Nude Shade and I don't have much like you know dark circles or anything. I just want to like you know target any sort of discoloration right around the mouth and 
the under eye area. It's just a bit of discoloration. It needs to be matched and balanced out. My husband is making kimchi noodles in the kitchen and I'm feeling so hungry. The smell, oh my god. Went with my favorite NARS foundation. Just gonna take two pumps on the back of my hand and using a brush, a flat PAC brush, I'm going to put this all over my face. So you saw how little I took and how nicely this brush blends out the foundation on the face. The face looks so, you know, clean. Now I'm going to take hula and quickly going to bronze, like contour my face a bit. can you know do uh, the contour following three like you know make a three one like those like this those like this you can make a three on your face and that would sort you out like for the dummies contouring this is what you can do you can make a three on your face and that will do the job I'm going, to, I'm going to go back to my eyes, finish my eyes first. I'm using Faces Canada Ultimate Pro Ink Eyeliner. Again, I'm going to use a small mirror. And I'm just going to create a wing. So, actually, the whole full liner is not in at all. We just create the wing, and probably I'll see if I want to define the inner corner, or I will just leave it out. Instead, I'm going to do some lower lash definition with this, and see how that comes around. Same, I'm going to repeat here. a very different look I don't usually do this kind of look that was different so let's see how this comes out I think for us I'll fail again yeah. Setting the kajal is very important. A lot of times, you know, my friends and family members, they ask me how to make, uh, tell me a kajal that will stay, jo smudge na kare, jo bleed na kare. Aisa koi kajal hai nahi. It, you know, uh, kai logo ki eyes bohan watery hoti hai, bohan, you know, they get a lot of moisture in their eyes. Wo to bilkul bhi expect na kare ki unka koi bhi kajal stay karega. But uh, yes, there is a foolproof uh, way to make your kajal set. And that is an eyeshadow. Any cream product can be set using a powder shadow, followed up by a like you know a powder shadow. If you cream blush, you a powder blush, that will stay the entire day. If you cream contour, you a powder contour, that will stay the entire day. And likewise, if you are using a cream kajal, a gold pencil, you follow it up with some powder black shadow on a brush like this one or you can use a pencil brush and that will make sure that your kajal stays for a long time without bleeding even if you have a moisture you know even if you you're, you have teary eyes and watery eyes so I'm just going to go over like this
and set it like this. This is how it's looking. I want to now do some glitter. You heard me right. I hardly do glitter, but today I think I want to do some glitter. I'm using uh, Urban Decay Moon Dust palette, and I'm just going to take some. Some I've mixed two shades. I've mixed lithium and element. This is lithium and this is element. I think wanted to do like a gold thing. Should I do a gold? Okay, so I'm using a palette by PAC. This is how it looks. Thora thora under se na, it's become a little thora too too gay. So I'm just going to be very, you know, careful with it. So I've taken it at the back of my. I've taken it on my finger. I feel like uh, metallic and uh, uh, glittery shadows. Up finger se lagao to it just comes out. In more intense. I'm just going to dab it. Look at that. Can you see? I feel like I'll go over it once again with the liquid glitter also. I'm going to repeat on the other eye. This, this Delancey set of glitters. I'm going to take a gold one from this. It comes in so many different colors. And I'm gonna try and use it. Put on the back of my hand a little bit. Let's see how that goes. Actually, I'm using a fluffy brush to apply it because I don't want my pigment to stay at one place. I want the glitter to get diffused on the lid. Can you see? It does look nice. It does look nicely. You know, I like the glitter. But I'm going to intensify my crease once more. Let's use O2 liquid blush. Back of my hand. to the lips now I'm putting this shade from this brand called Galactic I picked this up from Dubai mall the nude shade this is a nude shade beautifully that beautifully complements my lips we get to overline just a bit this is Kiko Milano. I'm a big fan of glosses and I'm unapologetic about it. Absolutely love my glosses. Here I'm just going to highlight my under eye area a little. I just feel like it's not enough. I'm so obsessed with this part of the of my makeup, my under eye area. It just makes every everything look snatched. I like my all kuch karu na karu. I think this 
some people say that you know they love doing their lipstick, they love their blushes. I think I love cleaning out my under eye area. That makes a lot of difference to your makeup look. It should not be. So this is how it looks in the natural light. I'm not wearing false lashes. I've just done my mascara, nicely coated it. And uh, I'll leave all the product information in the description below. Please make sure you check it out. If you have any questions regarding products I've used or techniques, please, please question. Leave a question in the comments and I will get back. And if you have liked watching this video as much as I've done, like creating it, please, please leave a comment, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe Kar Lena because that's a big motivation for me. But yeah, this I I'm pretty much digging this look. I think you can wear this look out for you know something some. I think this look uh, will look good with Indian wear as well and with the Western as you can see because I've done the lips nude and you can. I've also skipped the highlighter because my skin is already a little, you know, dewy. It's a little uh, naturally uh, glowy. I don't want to say glowy, but just touch wood. Yeah, so many a highlighter I've totally skipped kiya hai because I like how the natural sheen that's coming. And why not just uh, let that do the talking? Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have uh, any friend who you think will carry this look nicely, please share it with them. It's a big motivation when people share or like your content. So please do that. Thank you so much for watching.